Do you feel like you're trying hard to do all of the right things for bone health and it still feels a little bit unclear about what actually matters? If so, this video is for you. If you've ever felt like you've been given a long list of things that you're supposed to do for bone health, some of them even with mixed messages, and you have this constant sense, I should be doing more, but I'm not quite sure what I need to prioritize and focus on, what will actually make the biggest difference. In today's video, I wanna walk you through a clear and realistic 90-day reset for bone health that's focused on what will actually move the needle forward. This isn't about doing everything because there are so many things that you actually could be doing. And when we do so many things, it can start to feel like bone health becomes a full-time job. And like everything in your life revolves around your bone health. I firmly believe that supporting your bones should improve your quality of life, not take it over. And that means that caring for your bones should fit into your daily routine and your life and not the other way around of you fitting into some plan. Today, we're going to focus on doing the right things consistently for 90 days. And I wanna be clear about something upfront. 90 days is not necessarily about changing your bone density overnight, but it is about building good habits, developing confidence and a structure, a scaffolding that will support your bones for the long term without fear or overwhelm. So here's what we're gonna focus on, what a 90 day reset can actually do for your bones and what it realistically can't do, and the three areas that matter most if you wanna actually have your efforts pay off long term. So if bone health has felt confusing, discouraging, or otherwise frustrating, my goal today is to give you clarity and a way forward that feels steady and doable. Hi, I'm Sarah, a nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and a 500 hour trained yoga teacher with additional training that's specific for osteoporosis and yoga. I'm also a BoneFit certified fitness instructor. I'm on a mission to reduce the number of osteoporotic fractures that happen each year. And I am so pleased to have you join me in the journey to better bone health. So when it comes to bone health, there are a lot of details that people can get lost in, but at the most basic level, there are three core areas that determine whether your efforts are actually gonna pay off. So you don't need to master all three at once. You also don't need to be perfect with any of them. What you do need to understand is what they all are and how they work together. So the first core area is nourishment and absorption. So nourishing our bones is really about optimizing what your body can absorb and use, not just what you consume. You can be eating well and you could also be taking high quality supplements and still not be giving your bones what they need if absorption isn't happening and working the way that you think it is. Over the next 90 days, the goal with this is to make sure that the nourishment that you're already investing in is actually reaching your bones. So that means paying attention to a few key things. How calcium is spaced throughout the day. Our bodies can only absorb max between 500 and 600 milligrams of calcium at a time. Also, whether vitamin D is taken in a way that supports your bones and whether other factors like digestion, medications, or timing that might be interfering with how your nutrients are being used and absorbed. One important piece of calcium absorption is understanding what helps it and what can interfere with it. Your body absorbs calcium best in smaller spaced doses rather than all at once. And it needs adequate vitamin D to actually move calcium from your gut into your bloodstream and then into your bones. Calcium can also compete with or interfere with certain medications. This includes thyroid medication, acid reducing medications, and even some antibiotics. So the timing matters. Low stomach acid, digestive issues, or taking calcium alongside large amounts of iron or zinc can also reduce absorption. 
space it about two hours away from any of these things. Improving calcium absorption is about taking it in a way that your body can actually use. Vitamin D only supports bone health if your body can absorb and activate it. Taking vitamin D with food, especially meals that include healthy fats, improves absorption since it's a fat-soluble vitamin. Magnesium is also essential here because it helps to activate vitamin D in your body. Low magnesium can limit vitamin D's effectiveness and then calciums. Timing matters. High fiber supplements that are taken at the same time can reduce absorption and steady daily dosing works better than occasional large doses when it comes to vitamin D. Because our vitamin D also changes with the seasons, checking your levels periodically can help to ensure that your body is getting what it needs throughout the year. Nourishment and absorption are about making sure that your body has the raw materials that it needs to support your bones. Even when your nourishment is optimized, bones don't automatically strengthen on their own. Nutrients still need a signal that's going to stimulate new bone growth. And that brings us to our second core focus area. And that's how we signal the body to use the nutrients that we're putting in to actually support our bones. So this is where movement comes in, but not in the way that we generally think about it. This isn't necessarily about doing more exercise or working harder or pushing through something that's scary or fearful. It's about giving our bones the specific signal that they need to safely, progressively, and consistently move. Over the next 90 days, the goal of this focus area is specificity and consistency. That means choosing movements that load bones in a targeted way, that challenge muscles that attach to bone and are appropriate for your current bone health and confidence level. Don't try and do something that's not at your fitness level. When we talk about bone signaling through movement, it helps to be clear about where bones most need that signal. For most people, the areas that we're most concerned about are our spine, our hips, and then also balance is really important because these directly affect our fracture risk and our long-term independence. For the spine, the goal is to strengthen the muscles that support having an upright posture that help to protect your vertebrae. So this might look like simple back strengthening or spinal extension movements. This could be exercises, some simple back extension, resistance band rows, movements that encourage your spine to stay tall and strong. For your hips, we're looking to load your hips and to strengthen the surrounding muscles in a safe and controlled way. Examples here include sit to stands from a chair, also squats, or doing some step ups with a bottom stair or an aerobic step, which place meaningful load through your hips while also building functional strength. And then there's balance, which is just as important as strength when it comes to fracture prevention. Balance work doesn't have to be complicated. It can be as simple as a single leg stand near a counter or maybe having a slow and controlled shift, picking one foot up and then the other. When you practice balance consistently, your body learns to create stability, to stabilize itself. These aren't necessarily meant to be a full program, but they're examples of the type of movements that give bones a really useful signal. What matters most isn't doing a long list of exercises, but it's choosing the right kinds of movements and then repeating them consistently with good form and then an appropriate progression for your body. Just as important, this focus area is about progression. Our bones respond when a signal is repeated and then gradually increased over time. Doing random workouts don't necessarily create the right signal. Having an occasional burst of motivation also doesn't do the trick. What's really important here is a slow and steady thoughtful approach that helps you adapt in a safe and appropriate way. And this is also where a lot of people start to feel stuck. They either avoid movement because they're afraid of doing something wrong, or they try and do too much too quickly and then they burn out. 
The purpose of this 90 day reset is to remove both extremes. Movement for bone health should feel intentional, not intimidating. It should feel supported, not isolating. And it should be something that you can come back to week after week, not something that you have to psych yourself up to do. When bone signaling through movement is done well, it also doesn't take over your life. It becomes an integrated part of it. And when it's paired with proper nourishment, this is where your bones finally get the message to respond, to stimulate and to build new bone. So once nourishment is in place and your body is getting a clear signal through movement, there's one final piece that determines whether this actually sticks. And that's our third core focus area. The third core focus area in this 90 day reset is consistency and support. And this may be the most important piece because without it, even the best plan doesn't last. So people struggle with bone health because staying consistent can be really challenging. Changing bone health and bone density specifically takes time and progress can feel slow. Feedback can feel like it's really limited. Having to wait between your decks can feel like an incredibly frustrating experience. And it's easy for fear and uncertainty to creep in in the meantime. Bone health doesn't necessarily offer quick wins. You don't necessarily feel stronger after one good week of exercising. And without reinforcement, it can feel easy to fall back into guessing, stopping, and then starting over. And that's why consistency isn't necessarily about motivation. It's about creating a structure with support. Over the next 90 days, I invite you to make a goal for yourself to show up in a way that's realistic and also repeatable and sustainable for you. Even when your life gets busy, consistency means having a clear plan, knowing what matters most, and then having someone there to help you to adjust when things don't go exactly as planned. So support matters because our bone health is a bit nuanced. What's appropriate for one person may not be right for someone else. And having guidance can help to reduce fear. It can also prevent overdoing things and keep you progressing and moving forward in a safe and appropriate way for yourself. This is where accountability comes in and not the pressure kind, but the supportive and nurturing kind, the kind that reminds you that missing a day doesn't mean that you failed. You just start again. Think of this a bit like healthy eating. It doesn't have to be perfect all of the time. If you're someone who's basically eating a healthy diet, there's still some room for occasional fun or some treats that are mixed in. Even if you've had a really bad food day, maybe you had chocolate cake for breakfast. I grew up in a home where this was actually occasionally an acceptable option. It doesn't mean that you no longer eat a basically healthy diet, or even if you've had a whole day off, it's still okay. You just start again. You have a salad for lunch after your chocolate cake. It means that you start fresh, even if that fresh is in the middle of the day and you just get back to doing the basically healthy thing. You start again and you start again. It's okay to start over and over as many times as you need to. The thing is, the thing to really keep in mind, if you start over enough times, you've become consistent. When people have consistent support, they tend to start stopping over less frequently and they start to really develop habits that help them to move forward. And that's what allows having a supportive environment to take root over time. So a 90 day reset works best when it's not done in isolation. Our bones respond to having repeated signals over time and people tend to do better when they're supported while they're creating those signals. That support can look really different for different people. It might mean that you check in with a friend regularly, a friend or a family member. It might mean becoming part of a community that's focused on bone health and working on consistency together. If that kind of support would be helpful for you, I offer a Bone Builder community membership where I teach live osteoporosis aware classes every week to help people to stay consistent in a safe and supportive way. There's no pressure, just if that's a helpful thing. 
So as you take a step back and you're looking at your 90 day reset, this really comes down to three core focus areas, nourishment and absorption, making sure that your body can actually use the nutrients that you're already investing in and bone signaling through movement, giving your bones the specific and safe signal that they need to respond. Consistency with support, because none of this works if it only happens once in a while. 90 days isn't about changing everything overnight, but it is about building clarity, developing confidence, and also momentum by creating good habits that will help your bones to respond over time in a sustainable way. If bone health has felt confusing or discouraging, I hope this video has helped you to see that progress doesn't have to come from doing more. It comes primarily from doing the right things in a way that fits into your life and then repeating those things consistently. And if you're someone who knows that you do better with guidance, structure, and ongoing support, that's exactly why I created the Bone Builder Community Membership. Inside the membership, I teach live osteoporosis aware classes each week and I help people to apply these principles safely and consistently without fear or overwhelm. There's absolutely no pressure to join, but if that kind of support would be helpful for you, I'll leave a link in the description below. Wherever you are in your bone health journey, I am really glad that you're here and I hope that this video helped to give you a clearer and steadier way forward. Also, if you know someone else who could benefit from this same information, please share this video with them. Together, we can share what we know about bone health and then we can create a ripple effect that helps to create stronger bones and fewer fractures. And on that note, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.